Uh, your newest book, Belinda, can you tell us a little about, about it? Okay, this is um, a book which in English is called The Shut Eye. And uh, it's about a woman who's lost her five-year-old son, Daniel. And every day she goes out into the street and she looks after the last footprints that he made in a patch of cement on the ground, trying to find him, waiting for him to come home, not knowing what's happened to him. And um, she suddenly starts to have um, visions and consults a psychic. But we never really know whether the psychic is a real psychic who wants to help her or an evil person who's just trying to take her money and con her. When you make research, what, what, uh, how do you do that? I spent quite a lot of time in spiritualist churches, um, watching mediums at work. Yeah, I did a lot of research as far apart, uh, about psychics. You know, I wanted to write a book which wasn't um, paranormal. Um, the detective in my book is a complete skeptic and um, doesn't believe anything about the psychic world. And so it's a nice juxtaposition to try and keep that balance, that very fine balance between something which is unbelievable and something which is actually a crime novel. Um, because I didn't want to have to solve the crime through a psychic means necessarily. I wanted it to play out like a normal crime novel, but in a different kind of world. It was really interesting for me. I'm really glad I attempted it. You start a new book every time. Why do you do that? Why don't you make a sequel? Um, I think it's really because I get the idea for a story and it's almost always different. And I don't, I don't have any characters who are... I, my books don't rely on police investigations. My books are really about the victims and the killer and the effect of um, the crime on the relatives and friends and the community surrounding the victim. And so really it's not... I just haven't created a character which can constantly, you know, be solving cases or looking at corpses. It wouldn't be believable. So I like to do self-contained books, but then again, I'm also building a world. So sometimes characters from one book will come into another book in a smaller capacity, or there'll be there'll be a reference to the person that you read about three books ago. And as long as it's believable and feels organic, I like to create these people because in my head they're all still alive they're all still working they're doing the things that they do um, but really because I don't have detectives as my main characters that's why I don't really have a series of books yeah uh, the next one uh, what is it gonna be um, the next book is called snap in English and it's based on um, on a, a true story I took the true story as my starting point it's about a, a woman who's abducted and murdered um, and leaves her children by the side of a road in a broken down car. And then three years later we jump forward and another young woman wakes up and there's a knife beside her bed and a note that says, I could have killed you. <laughs> Sounds spooky. Thank you for your time. You're so welcome. Thank you.